But uh, that first one for us was worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> So I thought it was a, you know, big typical Big Ten match. You can take nothing for granted. It's never over until it's over, and and uh, it's the way it's going to be for the next uh, ten week, nine week, kind of ten weeks. So, uh, but I thought our UCLA played great in Game Three and took all the momentum away from us. And you know, it's uh, we just you can lose it that fast, just like you can get it that fast. But we responded well in game four and thought we played good volleyball and then really turned it up there at the end. What wasn't working for you during that 10 0 run? I, it was total loss of focus. We stopped passing the ball. Um, we stopped setting middle. Uh, we couldn't kill the ball. Bergen was putting up some tough sets to try to kill. So we just, we just lost all of our rhythm and momentum. And that's. That's uh, uh, you know that's thinking the game's over and we're just going to roll. So hopefully we're going to learn, learn a really good lesson tonight. Did UCLA do anything different during that ten all run, or was that they just, just served it in and hit it in and, and played really good volleyball? They didn't they didn't give us anything. So and we gave them. I mean, how many hitting errors? What, what did we hit? And we hit. We hit 102, and you know we had nine hitting ears in game three. You hit nine hitting ears, you're going to lose. Nine hitting ears. So that's that's not a great effort right there. So that's a whole total team breakdown. And UCLA doing what they need to do, just keeping it in, playing defense, serving tough, and they, they did a really nice job. Is it hard for Taylor to come in and do what she did, or should she be able to do that, have a match like that? I don't know. I I, um, I kept telling her she's got to get kills because Harper wasn't killing the ball. Merritt wasn't killing the ball, so her middles were. And we, did, we needed a left side to kill some out-of-system balls, and I thought she took aggressive swings and uh, did a really nice job. She got a couple big blocks we needed, so we'll see. What did you see from your team in that second set? Hit over 600, 100% side out rate. Yeah, we were playing great. And that's how we played all last week. Just, yeah, when you side out 100%, you can't really get any better. So, but that's sport of volleyball. Last game doesn't matter. Nick, last point really doesn't matter. It's all about the next point. And uh, that is a good example of it tonight. You said it was a typical Big Ten match, but this was UCLA, their first Big Ten match ever, too. Are, we, are, you, are you surprised that they kind of have acclimated so well into the culture of the conference? No, they're used, it's UCLA. They're used to playing big matches, playing in the Pac-12. So um, th this was the best match they played all here, just in the video we watched. Um, so um, I, I thought they played really well tonight. They passed, passed way better than they've been passing. Their setter did a really nice job tonight. So, yeah, they, they were, they took it up a notch, but that's what, and I told our team before the match, I said, you look at so far in the Big Ten and some of the other conferences, everything's, all these close matches are going five, they're really close matches, they're really hard, and it's the start of the conferences. So everybody, zero and zero, has a chance to win the conference. And that's, that's what you're gonna see. We got a good dose of it tonight going to be the focus as you prepare for Sunday's match now? Um, just come in and like we, we don't do anything different. Just come in tomorrow, practice, prepare for USC, and then get, try to recover and get ready to play another great match Sunday night. Nothing changes. Stay with the routine. Any other questions? How, how did it make you feel that they did all these things to kind of celebrate your 25 years here? I blocked it all out. <laughs> blocked it all out. So I didn't even know this was the 700th win, so I didn't know that. And uh, of course, I saw we did all the bobble things a couple days ago. Thank God they got that out of the way, so I have to deal with it today. But I think it's, you know, this is how I look at it, Brent, is our marketing department is doing a great job of making everything fun for our fans, for our team, for, our, for Nebraska, University of Nebraska Athletic Department, 
they're doing some really fun things. It's in football, it's here. Uh, it's stuff they're doing on social media and to be a part of that and, you know, they asked me to do some stuff that got me, you know, is out of my comfort zone and the bobblehead dolls, that's not something I would ask for or even, but, you know, it's fun and people love it. And so anyway, it connects, it's just, they're doing a great job of connecting people with our program. And um, so uh, hats off to them. They thought about all this and they got other things going the rest of the year, but they're doing a great job. Ba Bailey's our marketing person and I mean, she deserves a great shout out. You're gonna be, you're gonna be able to listen to the messages from the former players now that you're not coaching? Uh, yeah, I, I, I heard, I mean, I heard somebody talking, but I, I wasn't paying attention. So I, I can't, I can't, I'm narrow focused. I can't get distracted by all that stuff. Is uh, having a 15 foot tall inflatable of yourself pretty fun? Yeah, that, that, that's pretty cool. I don't know where they had it tonight. I didn't it's see up it. by the Larson oh, corner. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah, that thing's pretty cool. Yeah. You can take help. Yeah, they said that I can keep it uh, afterward. <laughs> so uh, I've already got, I already got the Cowboys are asking me to bring it out to some, some events. <laughs> so they, they love it. So anyway, a lot of people thought it was really, really cool. And that commercial thing we did was again our marketing people and our social media people Izzy is they're they're so creative and it, it makes it a lot of fun and of course I need to have more fun so all right thank you okay guys